here guys chat listen listen you know you've lost a round when all five of you are on site and have control <laughs> of zero entrances into the bomb site. Hello, my name is Worthy, a professional Valorant coach. If you're looking to climb the ranks and improve your overall gameplay, you definitely want to leave a like and a sub and enjoy the video. Um, we are f***ed already. We've lost a round at this point. Um, the reason being is look at how many control or how much control we have of the entranceways. One, two, yeah. three. With the situation right now, you know, here guys, chat, listen, listen. You know you've lost a round when all five of you are on site and have control <laughs> of zero entrances into the bomb site. You know it's you're bad. We're not even like holding flank anymore. KJ is yeah. thirds down. Nothing. We have nothing. So they have full control right now. They're gonna they're gonna completely collapse on us. So your only option when you're in these situations is unfortunately, guess what? Get into the smoke. Get ugly with it. So you wanted to do one on the back one, that molly pop there. I would have said go into that one. So I think you're gonna go into this one now. You're hesitating here. Just go for it. You have no choice. You know, three, sure. two, one, swinging CT. You have to yeah, you have to take I'm control. Even... So this was the right play. Perfect. This is all good. Yeah. Keep going. You could you could have kept going, yeah, for sure. Um, you falling back here. This is so good. Everything that we're doing here is fantastic. Like even if we lose this round, it's kind of like if we complain about it, it's like we're swimming through a pile of diamonds trying to find one piece of turd. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. we're swimming in diamonds right now. This is a really good situation for us, and we have set ourselves up for so much success in the following round. The only difference is that we need is if we get that bomb down, that's even more value. But we've killed three people here on their full buy round. We're looking pretty going to the next round. A 2v2 situation, um, not the most ideal spot that we want to be in. I would probably open the door here because at the end of the day, a minute and 10 seconds left on the clock. If you open the door, they're going to hear that. They're going to say, oh, they might be rotating out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're creating options in their head. Uh, this was another hesitant part. I mean, you don't need to go any further than this, right? This is good. Like, up here's fine. It's a 5v5. You want to make sure that you don't make it a 4v5 on their retake. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of an overextend. Like, if I'm doing timing in my head, someone's right here. Gonna peek you from stairs in a few seconds. Good chance yeah, of someone like being here. Yeah, going so wide here is, like, really bold. Yeah. Playing got... that box for info? Yeah. Lovely chef's kiss, but... Exactly. So this, the big key is, is that you need to consider your escape routes at all times. If you don't have an escape route, then you, if something bad happens, you can't get out of that situation, right? So you don't want to commit to a fight you don't have to. And literally, I'd say this round, if it is a loss, starts with that aggression that you have there, because now you're giving other people the, the freedom to make mistakes too, and you know they're going to make that too, right? So now this is the moment where, a moment of truth, really because you make a really interesting calm here. Let's know what you say. Launching smoke. Could be B main. You said could be B main for anyone who couldn't hear it. Could be B main. This entire area is a threat. Remember what we talked about that one round on C where everyone's on site and we have no control of any of the pathways in the bomb site. This is your time right now to go and clear up B main and make sure that that is a non-threat. Like, if you want to win this round, you need to clear out this spot here so it's a non-threat. Could I reposition like above Brim and then look B-man? You, and just yes. not worry about Chamber? This, like... this would be the other option is you push the smoke with the gecko, right? Yeah. You want to be aggressive together and try to find it, make it 3v3. Um, you can't sit here and be distracted cat protocoling on this chamber because they're, you saw three towards A well, guess where they're coming? They're coming behind you, right? Yeah, they're coming and for sure. because you're constantly worried about this angle because you haven't cleared it, well, now you're you're threatened by all four angles right now, right? Yeah, I'm screwed. yeah. So you either go through and you clear this out early, or you go with your gecko, you force a fight, right? You gotta do something. Though. You gotta do something. You can't sit here because if you sit here and you wait, when you're down numbers, you're going to get pinched. Right? So, again, you're waiting. I'd rather you just push through that smoke and try to challenge them. Right? Yeah, at this moment, I'm like, I look at that smoke, and the first thought that goes through my head is sky's flashing through that, and so now I got nervous. Get right into the smoke. Don't be afraid to go in the smoke in these situations. And you're in a four, when you're in a 2v4 situation, who is likely to win the round? Yeah, they are. Yeah, so you have nothing to lose. You go for it. Oops.